Hey, Maxie, you hadn't uh, attempted a two-pointer in this series before tonight. Obviously, you made your first couple threes, but was getting getting a two, uh, you know, finding shots within the arc, was that something you noticed or, or was an emphasis? Um, I didn't really emphasize on it. I just tried to do, like, you know, the right things, get the right spacing. And today when they play zone or when they double-team Luca, you know, it's a short roll that's open. And uh, the first one I caught really deep, so it was like a layup. Otherwise, you know, you try to find guys and kick out, but, you know, I'm not worried about what shot I get. If it's a two-point or a three-point, I just try to make the right decision. Uh, Jason said it was a nice compliment for this team that they uh, they had to go to zone a lot. You know, they, they, the demand that wasn't quite what working for them. So do you see it that way as well? Yeah, I mean, I think... You know, not just this series, but even before, we did a great job with uh, Spencer, JB, and Luca attacking mismatches and all that. And, you know, it just shows that, you know, they just try different things um, to take that away from them. And, uh, you know, they force other shots. Last game, you know, we didn't really shoot the ball well. Um, today, we shot the ball better. So, you know, that's that's one key to win the game then. Uh, Maxi, this late into the season, do you feel like what you're being asked to do is is different than what you were asked to do during the regular season? or? Or how different would you say your role is, if at all, uh, this deep into the playoffs? Um, I don't think it's really that much different. I think everything we do is just a lot more detailed. So on offense, on defense, you have a lot more information. And uh, I think that makes it like a little bit easier sometimes to play because you just know what to do um, because there's certain things that they just want from you because everything is so detailed. We know exactly how to attack that. And, you know, we did. I think the coaches do a great job analyzing the games coming in. And then, you know, like today in shoot around, we talked about how to attack the zone and made adjustments and all that. And um, I would say it's pretty much the same. Everything we do is just like a lot more detailed. Maxi, I heard God Sham God say to Tim Hardaway Jr. before the game tonight that this was the first night of y'all beginning to rewrite history. What's the confidence level for you guys as a group that you guys can make something happen here? I mean, if you don't believe in it, you might as well just stay home, right? Um, you know, we come here to, to win games. And, um, you know, game two, we had a big lead. We should have won the game. We gave it away. Game three, we didn't shoot the ball well. So we have, you know, the power to beat them. And we just stay confident. And that was one game. And now we just focus on the next game on nothing else. You know, everything else is in the past. And we don't have to worry about what's coming after this game. We just focus on that game, prepare again, analyze what we can do better. Um, on offense and defense, and then just go from there. Max, you were in a really good rhythm from three point in the first two series. You, know, you shot 50% combined. Could you put a finger on why you got off to a slower start in this series? Were you not getting as many op open looks? And why do you think you got your stroke back tonight? Uh, I don't know. You know, like I just keep shooting the ball when I'm open. It's the right decision. I just take the shot, like I guess everybody else who would be open. Um, I had like a couple shots where I thought it's gonna go in for sure. You know, if you make three more shots, you know, it's a totally different percentage. Um, so we're not talking about a big sample size, but obviously you wanna make your shots. But you know, um, I'm going into the game with the same mindset because if you get that shot or you have that pick and pop, that's a shot you take and that's the right decision. And you know, we're gonna take it every time. Got a couple ones in real quick. Davide, go ahead. I'm Maxi Gaudi there from Italy here. Uh, you talk about the confidence you guys have. How much is that? How much of that derives from Coach Kidd and the way he prepares you guys, the way he prepares the game, and what he says to you guys? Uh, you know, it starts obviously with him, um, but all season long he always believed in us you know the way he prepares us for games and especially now in the playoffs um, you know sometimes he even asks like do you guys believe and obviously the answer is yes but he makes sure we do and you know the way he prepares us the way he talks to us we know that he got our back too so you know obviously if, if, if your coach is on your side um, you know that gives you a little boost too but I think he's a he's a big part on why we are so confident as a team too. Maria? Maxi, hope you're well. Setting the things into perspective, what made this game so different compared to the other three? Uh, I think. Overall, after the first game, we did a better adjustment on defense, um, taking like uh, threes away, forced them to more mid-range jumpers, and then, you know, on offense, we just made shots. So <laughs> that's the difference. Is Bella? Huh? Oh, it's Bella. Oh. Hi, Maxi. It's Bella Fernandez from Spanish Sport Media. Um, how confident are you as a team for the next game, and what are those events that you take for tonight? And we like to repeat it in San Francisco. 
Yeah, um, obviously playing there is not easy. Um, you know, they have the crowd on their side again, but like I said, in game two, we proved that we can play the right way and be up, and we just got to do a better shot um, maintaining leads if we have them, same like today. Um, but, you know, we stay confident, as I said. Um, we have no reason to be shy. Um, you know, we with the with the back against the wall, basically, so we just go out there and play our best and play hard and just come out and compete like today. Last one, Alexander. Mexico, congratulations on the victory. How much of a, a pressure is it knowing that you have to win the game? How did you overcome that uh, tonight, actually, at this game? And is there some concern about preparing for the next game about that kind of stuff? Um, I mean, I, I don't really like to think about pressure that much. I think the pressure is more on their side to win the games. You know, we have, at this point, nothing to lose, so we just go out and pray, uh, play free. And I think that's kind of what we did today. Um, but, you know, I, I would say, like, maybe you have that little bit of pressure feeling before, but as soon as you step on the court, you don't think about stuff like that. You just go out there and play and, you know, try to make the right decisions, take the right shots, and play the right defensive scheme. So. I don't know. Um, at the end of the day, you know, you just go out there and do your best, and you know, everything else, whatever happens, happens. How important is home court advantage? Like tonight, you had that. Uh, will you miss that in the next game? Yeah, obviously. You know, like being or playing at home with your fans is is a big difference, and uh, you know, playing there obviously. It's going to make a little change for us too because the crowd is going to be loud. You know, when, when they make a crazy shot or whatever, everybody gets hyped. So we have to maintain our cool and just, uh, you know, keep playing our game and not get distracted by that. All right. Thank you, Matsy. Thank Appreciate you, guys. Matzie. No practice tomorrow, no availability.